Okay, I came out in the 80s. I'm from Black Thief Stone, 21st Street, down in Oregon, for Anthony's Pork Blood, rest in peace. These niggas said villain, you know, fish yeah. is villain, so that's what they name. Raggy, I'm Brownie Hunter, Black Thief Stone, Anthony's Pork Blood, all came right here. Niggas be like, this fish street, the Mason, yeah, and then, you know, we put Mason on the man. The first thing over the grand, you know what I'm saying? Everybody was tripping back in the middle of the night. If you really want to know, this is the first area where blacks was at in Mason back in the day. This is where the blacks was at, you know what I mean? Mason Mario Loco, on the SA side. Black side, we all got along though. But we caught the awesome proud because this man Mason, Mormon. That's all they thought of. They ain't know it was with that realism. <laughs> that gangsterism, you know what I'm saying? These <laughs> pulled up like two cars deep, walking these shit. Who the fuck is these? They think they ain't down with it. They think here. Bam, bam, bam. Look at that, man. Back in the 90s, one of the top 10 dangerous gangs. The Wet Back Park didn't like that shit. They wanted that motherfucker. They went to every hood, nigga. Shout out every hood, nigga. We the most dangerous hood. These niggas. 50 Mexicans walking down the street, nigga, with guns. Here at Alley Al. What's up, blood bomb? <laughs> <laughs> that was game banging back then, nigga. That was game banging. You ain't finna come here and say we're gonna be Crips. We had grape chips come over here, try to run us out. Different Crips come to Mesa, thought they was gonna run us out, nigga. We just wouldn't have Leave us alone. We weren't finna have it. Break into them damn projects. I hear you getting in fights. You put on that you know, put on right here. I want to be in the gang, mother. Yeah. My <laughs> gang was like a hundred strong, and they was ready to go. And he was the kingpin. He was the most <laughs> boss. LVB, little gun and blood. A couple masks and rappers, but the, the white boys was the ones that was gonna get you. Fish Street villains all day. We village kids. BJ, BJ, kill this shit, bro. Five gang, we out of here, man. Okay, babe, we have finally officially made it to the land of the villains, aka Mesa, Arizona's first and essentially only black neighborhood, aka Fifth Street, home of the Mesa Bloods. A little backstory our guy Be the Villain began recording music at the clubhouse in year 2020 with Chris Cross of Cross Management. Chris saw something a little extra special and began managing him and his music. From him being around so often, we began to bond, and one of the things that we bonded over was the fact that he was from Mesa AZ just like me, the biggest cactus. If you don't know, Mesa is one big ass landmass in the far east of the Phoenix Valley, essentially occupied by lower class blue collar folk and ran by Mormons. Basically. Mormons, that's all they thought of. Which is a tight-knit religious group comparable to the Jews or Muslims. Outside of those two demographics of Mormons and blue collars lies a small population of trench-ass neighborhoods spread out around the western and southern sides of Mesa. And amongst these trenches lies Fifth Street, home of the villains. Now this is the type of area my parents would kick my ass if I went to. My dad being a migrant from Flint, Michigan worked his tail off to avoid me being in the trenches, kind of like Dave Chappelle's parents. My parents did just well enough so that I could grow up poor around white people. Ironically, fast forward to today and here we are. But Fifth Street has a unique story. Like I previously said, with the top class of residents being ran by white Mormons and Hispanics being the minority race in charge of essentially everything else, blacks had little chance of thriving. Even this article, according to HardingFirm.com, states black Americans had to work hard for even their basic rights. So in the 70s, 80s, and 90s, every black migrant coming to Mesa outside of a handful of hard-headed rebels landed here in Fifth Street. And they all banded together like a family to protect their hood and the youth whom occupied it from hate groups and other established gangs in the area who would come on occasion and try to intimidate the community members. It's a family thing more than a banging thing. So the various California migrants from various blood neighborhoods, bounty hunters, black pea stone tree tops, etc, etc, seeking a better, more peaceful life in Arizona and looking to separate from some of the violent tensions with California Crips. It was hard to be a blood back then when I was nigga and everybody was Crips. Had unfortunately found themselves in the same predicament in Mesa. These niggas pulled up like two cars deep, nigga walking and shit. Like, who the fuck is these niggas? They think here. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> Fifth Street needed protection. Thus, the formation of the FSV, the Fifth Street Villains, a collective comprised of various bloodhoods from California, from which our guy Beta Villain is a direct descendant. We felt this neighborhood's history was worth preserving and a story worth telling, so Villain rounded up the OGs so we could hear it from them on what was supposed to be their hood day. However, the local cops seemingly had other plans and shut it down, dispersing the community before we even pulled up. But we still managed to round a few community members back 
back up so they could tell y'all about this legendary Mesa stronghold, aka the Fifth Street Villains, Mesa's first and only black neighborhood. Careful the Jakey is just trying to slip a bitch on me. I know, I see that. That's fine, life, man. What, what just happened, basically? What was the original plan? So, we're supposed to be doing the hood tour and shit, but according to sources, slash us is just getting flipped, flipped on us by the police. It's hot as shit over here right now. I guess there's about 10 cops up here at the park we're supposed to be having the hood day at. As you can see, the hood is ghost town because you can't even be over here if you're going to trouble on hood. What's happening, homie? Nigga, you want to talk? Right, right. Nigga, good, nigga, yeah. So, way back. Nigga, J Love, nigga, he saw a fire game, homie. How you doing? Yeah, bro? Right. you know what I'm saying? We need these projects over here before they knock them up. Projects down. You might still go over here, nigga. Granny. You got to recommend this something? I'm sorry. No, you all right, good. You know, Pasadena, all the way to New York, you know what I'm saying? First one goes to the you know what I'm saying? Everybody was tripping back in the mother. Only out here. Yeah, how, how did this neighborhood become like a blood neighborhood? Shit, they went against the grand. This uh, mom that's from out here went to LA, and you know what I mean? And everybody brought their kids back here. Yeah, Bounty Hunters, Black Keystone, and just Park Bloods all came right here. So everyone just kind of came together? Came and together. And niggas be like, this is Fifth Street. The Mason, nigga. And then, you know, we put Mason on the man. Who really like the main, like, ops for you guys around here? Like, who really be, caused the be, most problems no, for you No, it used to be way back in the day. It used to be Elgin Park, Chris Chandler. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, they, they, that was back in the day. You know, Chandler okay. went against the grain. You know, they went with the Crips and shit. You know what I'm saying? About nowadays. Right now the motherfucking police. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The police, <laughs> it's a whole different thing now. A whole different era. It ain't like it used to. Ain't no shooting and popping or nothing. You got half of these little fucking spook over here. They like, who the f is I am? Because they like, where I'm from, nigga. <laughs> Y'all in my park, blood, everything over here is me, nigga. You know what I'm saying? So, what's the park we're at right now, too? Yeah, like, what's the. Park. Yeah, it used to back in the day, it used to be NVL. You know what I mean? Mesa Barrio Loco on the SA side. Black side, we all got along, though. Still the project, the VM. You know what I mean? Oh, it is new. It all used that. It's a straight project. project, straight, regular. Old school project. They kicked everybody out. <laughs> they kicked everybody out and lied and said they was gonna use it for some shit. And they ain't use it for nothing. And them just sat abandoned for yeah. five, About five years, six years, something. Yeah, they and did that. Just came through and just yeah, we got down down and and built. And if you really wanna know, this is the first area where blacks was at in Mesa back in the day. This is where the blacks was at, you know. Mesa ass, Arizona, you know how they is. This was the black section in Mesa, like the, this is like the south side. It was the, Black session in Mason. Oh, yeah. Salvation Army right behind us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's what that is over there, the Salvation yeah. Army. Yeah. yeah, we got the motherfucking reserve because they had to bring out the army, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> right there, nigga. And they got the police station car no, fixing their shit. car. Police that, station man. right all there on First Ave. All that shit. They made sure to put plenty of police around this. Yeah, yeah. They had the gang tags with us all the time. That's yeah. all they did. Mason always double they patrol with us. Us and Southside Mason. And they thought we was like 100 months. It's deep, it was like 30 strong. <laughs> <laughs> we had that one like, nigga that might have been weak, but everybody was sleeping. Nigga, they swear, I go to feel like y'all. That's what I rap, that's what my rap name is. We give me a random business, we put my hood on time, put my hood on the map. We get it really out there. I used to roll with his daddy back in the day, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so be the villain really come from your hood? Yeah. yeah, Fish Street Villain. That's the name they chose, you know what I mean? Because we had niggas, when we came out, like I said, I came out in the 80s, I'm from Black Thief Stone, 21st Street, then I'm in Arnhem, Athens Park Blood, rest in peace. And we came out Fish Street, like, what y'all want to be? You know, you had Broadway, yeah. Gangsters, 
Southern Bloods, you got the Vista Bloods. These niggas said villain, you know, fish yeah. big villain, so that's what they name. Okay, that's what's up. That's what happened. You know, we had a little conversation a couple times from LA black. Oh man, bloods don't villains, you know, hey nigga, we boo nigga, they niggas like villains. It's an Arizona thing. We ain't got yeah. nothing to do with y'all, but you know, <laughs> we rock with y'all, you know what I'm saying? We yeah. rock with y'all, blood, you know what I'm saying? No, for real. Yeah, nigga, but one of the original blood hoods is right here, nigga, before bloods got, you know, in. It was hard to be a blood back then when I was nigga. Everybody was crisp, nigga. They seen us thought we was laughing to stop them in their mouth. And then when they got their guns, we had guns too, you know. And that's, you know, that put us nice on the map, nigga. Like I said, our is in play. A little history, you know what I mean? My mom, my granny. Shit, they from right here. They brought me here. Like, it's Pasadena, Sarai, and Lewis. That's the three streets in the fifth night. Fish Street go through all of those type of shit. I can't forget about my people. Fish Street and Lewis, where we do this. That's what they say over here. Now this shit got turned into a school too. Like our whole life, ever since my dad was a kid, since, since the OG was a kid, this was just like the hood part. Within the last like five years, they kicked everybody out and they closed it down and turned it into a school. But like on the weekend, that shit still be open, but we still be up here thugging every day, no matter what though. They should have figured out where they was putting the school out before they did all that. I just got some little footage of uh, J Lo and shit. I need to get some with you and uh, Mom. Yeah, we on Lewis block right now. That right there is be the center. We can play pool, lift weights, everything. They fucked the city man to a little ass school and shit to stop us from going up in there. You can be a payphone on the corner. See all kind of shit. Family oriented. You know, everybody related and shit. So, you know, my mom and grandma from here, but half of these is related to each other. No, Fred, drink smoke. Drink I just drank and drank Hennessy, drink. drink. Oh yeah, I drank liquor. We slow you down, that's why you so calm. They ain't ready to pop a nigga in the head. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be ready to be active, nigga, in case you got, yeah, that's how niggas know, nigga. Slow the ass down. <laughs> they legalized weed, they should've outlawed on you. They should've Yeah. He got the documentary dude for the film. No, that's some real shit. Love what's happening, man. Yeah, yeah. Shit. You got a good day? Oh, nigga, Jay, love it, nigga! Guys, the dick, what's up, bro? Mm -hmm. You want me to slide you to the store, though? Yeah, I need to get scared, man. Let's go, Charlie, let's go to some store quick. Uh, you want to go to Quick Mart, or you want to go to Circle K? We'll go to the CK real quick, see? Quick Mart definitely going to have it. You talking about the one on Brown? Yeah. Yeah, well, uh, I ain't been in this motherfucker so long. They probably switched up. Man, I ain't got it. Hey, that's the documentary dude. Up around? Yeah. He came down here and our brother Bone and then Cooper, bounty hunter. It would just happen like that, like, you know what I'm saying? Like moms, you know, like I'm tired of Arizona and went got California niggas and came back with babies. And, and them niggas from different sets, you know, they they from Bounty Hunter Walk, like I said, Black Peastone, 21st Street, for the jungle, LA. And then we had this Park Bloods. We got some one trap five pop rules uh, with us, you know what I'm saying? Bompton. So we got a lot of different blood niggas that came to Mason. We didn't follow the dog pound in uh, uh, LBT. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot you of went against the grain. Yeah, yeah, a lot of niggas did that shit, nigga. Nigga, we started checking niggas, niggas remember, and niggas like, oh, we just matching. <laughs> 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 oh, okay, match this, blood. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean, nigga? I'm good. But we call niggas all surprised because niggas, man, Mesa, Mormons. That's all they thought of. Mesa, Mormons. <laughs> nigga, that's why we call them a lot of niggas slipping, man. They ain't know what's with that realism. <laughs> that gangsterism, you know what I'm saying? Literally. Nigga, it wasn't that deep, so we couldn't be playing, nigga. If you, nigga, we ain't that deep, nigga. If somebody fuck up, everybody know you, 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 you. You, you, you fought it, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So you weren't finna do that, nigga. Hey, nigga, one, ain't no true story. One day, nigga, we usually pick it right here. One day, we was all over there. But these niggas pulled up like two cars deep, nigga, walking and shit. Like, who the fuck is these niggas? They, nigga, nigga, laying down with it. His... <laughs> 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 they think here, beep, beep, beep. Nigga, don't play. Don't play, nigga, Let's pray for them motherfuckers, man. Drugs, hey, say no to drugs, man. Drugs, nah, fuck for real. The... No, y'all young niggas better watch out. That fentanyl ain't nothing new. Man. They put fentanyl on anything. Man. They trying to get niggas hooked. Nigga, they don't care. 
at all. Have you fucked <laughs> your whole life up, nigga? I see so many young motherfuckers <laughs> off, ain't doing shit. I remember this nigga when he was little, man. <laughs> this nigga was little. <laughs> I mean, I used to hang with his daddy, nigga. I'm still here. Cause I, I, I grew up with that mentality, you know, from LA, but they had it already in Mason. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like a family thing. Every hood got their own little thing, you know. You know, like the Vistas. They Vista Bloods, but they used to be Vista Trojan, you know, Kings, and they was like Crips and shit. You know what I mean? The youngsters came BBG because they didn't want to be 7 9 Swans. You know, 7 9 Swans came to their hood, made them you know, blood be like, nigga, we ain't finna claim 7 9, we finna claim the Vista. And then, so the young niggas and the Vista, like Vista Blood Gangsters. The old niggas is Vista Trojan King, they Crip. Yeah. You know, every hood got the same thing. Arizona, man, don't sleep on Arizona. They, Arizona been wild. They just ain't had enough niggas to replace a nigga. Mm -hmm. Like LA, a nigga died, another nigga right there. Nigga go to jail, another nigga right there. No, for real. For real, nigga. I grew up in LA, so I know. Facts. You know, but Arizona was begging before New York. Niggas was gang banging, you know what I mean? No. Yeah, I've been shot, ran over. Yeah, I've been through it all, nigga. Many for the hood. You know what I'm saying? Really Police niggas sweating us and shit. Gang tabs come over here with us. What y'all doing tonight? <laughs> they little white cow holes and shit. You know, it's like a family thing more now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I look up for the young niggas. Careful, watch out. Then a banging thing. I say yeah. it's, a, it's a family thing more than a banging thing. Which is why I'm even rapping and repping the villains and trying to keep that shit going alive because. Nigga, we been everywhere, nigga. I've been to Choice of Colors, Southside, nigga, the Legion. I love fucking the South. Man, I'm bitching the South Side. And, you know, amazing bitch know after a while. Who's fucking so and so? <laughs> like, you know, the Phoenix, bitch, some new oh, God. Day, nigga. <laughs> I've been out there, nigga, whooping with all them niggas. <laughs> Southern Block, nigga, 20th Street. All the way to motherfucking my nigga from Castle Grand. You ain't in no hood. Gotta go to the, uh, then then go to the Grandy. Oh, okay. Keep your 9 in handy, nigga, the north side. Okay. 7 9 Swans, nigga. Castle Grand, nigga. They didn't shock me. <laughs> you know, we like, the nigga, we shocking them niggas like Mason got blood. I go to Castle Grand, like, these niggas got blood. <laughs> I'm talking about thick. Yeah, nigga, thick, nigga, real blood. Nigga, Castle Grand, nigga. I ain't even lie. We was on a, uh, true story. We was on the motherfucking news as one of the top 10 back in the 90s. Dangerous gangs. And they didn't put wet back power on that motherfucker. Wet back power went through the list, nigga. Shot up West Side City. Went through the list, nigga. I think we were like number seven. They came through our hood, nigga. Ali Al out there, nigga, with the red thing. Nigga, 50 Mexicans walking down the street, nigga, with guns. Here, Ali Al. What's up, blood bomb, nigga? <laughs> And they had the newspaper and they had the map of the 10 dangerous hoods and they had a map and went back par they like that shit they wanted that motherfucker they went to every hood nigga shout up every hood nigga we the most dangerous hood nigga fuck these niggas yep. yeah that was game banging back that. then nigga that was game banging that. History on the top 10 list. Nigga, that was game banging. It was robbery, shootings, nigga, and all History's that. History's still under investigation. When I got arrested a couple years ago, he tried to get me, Fed's trying to get me to rap on who I got my shit from. I'm talking about they got an investigation over there. I'm nigga, niggas probably still got it. Niggas still got investigation shit. Nigga, I'm telling just the different shit is, ain't all these fucking cameras, all these motherfucking cellar phones, right, right. all these motherfucking pinpoints you and shit. You know what I mean? Uh, Nigga, I see some detectives and be like, who's shit? <laughs> yeah, I got a job. Like, Can I tap that dude? I'm a, I'm, I'm a grandfather, homie. What's going on, nigga? What's happening? <laughs> no, for real. We weren't trying to be hard. This was, yeah, we weren't just trying to be follow the grain. You know what I mean? You ain't finna come here and say we're gonna be Chris. We had grape strips come over here, try to run us out, nigga. We had different different Crips come to Mesa, thought they was gonna run us out, nigga. We just wouldn't have it. Leave us alone, nigga. We weren't finna have it, nigga. And then Chandler, and then Chandler and Mason got history because half niggas that live in Chandler live in Mason Village. Like I said, the only blacks over here. And the only blacks in, in Elgin Park that's probably knocked down too in Chandler was there, but they was, went from one 
black project to the next black project, the next city over. But when, they, like I said, when the Crips came and, and took over, them niggas went with the grain. Okay, we're going to Crip too. So we didn't like them niggas because half of them niggas knew them niggas. Some niggas related. Some of them, my mama's married to the daddy, daddy married, you know, nigga. But we niggas, nigga, I'm telling you, for the police, niggas go right down that motherfucker and drive by the police when we done, nigga, police station, nigga. You know what I'm yeah, saying, no, nigga? I almost got wild. killed at McDonald's, nigga, right there off of Ray, nigga. We made it all the way to motherfucking our damn near baseline. So my brother see me, he thought I was dead, nigga. He saw a number of blood on my head, nigga. You know what I mean, nigga? And he had to run all the way back to Elliot to CK to get on the payphone to call 911. He went to jail that night. When I got to the hospital, I went to jail the next day. Follow motherfucking Matt. That nigga said he had the village down. We finna kick it. Michael riding around with a bag of frozen chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, babe, real quick, as we get the grill started and wait for more OGs to trickle in, be sure to check out all the Beat of Villains music. Links will be in the description below, and if you're an artist in the Phoenix area, be sure to hit Criss Cross of Cross Management, the Valley's top dog audio engineer, to record some music. Now let's get back to the cookout. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, back then everybody was cripping. The the only, he had to be a real yeah. to be a blood, because everybody was cripping, nigga. Yeah, he put up, remember we started off putting next to him, niggas? We start playing yeah, Double Riders. We park right next yeah. to the crab niggas. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the crab niggas. The crab niggas. I'll pop my trunk. Almost said. Let me just get the out of there. What was like going up for you, a little younger? We just followed and they pushed us like shit. Like all of us young kids used to be hearing shit on my cousins. Break into them damn projects, just shit. Wild ass, bad shit, nigga. I hear you getting in fights. What do you do? The Mexicans and the blacks always got along. Yeah, sure. There was never no like conflicts in that regard over here. You know? yeah, no. At least not right here in this area. Oh shit. How he had to make his own game. I'm gonna say, ask about how you had to make your own game. I did, because these niggas didn't want to make me and let me be in, in their game, motherfucker. <laughs> they thought I was joking. Like, I want to be in the game, motherfucker. Because you was already motherfucker lit. And that's, they, we did not need that kind of heat. We had grandparents and nigga, we had OGs over us. But what happened? It was, it was, I was, you created your nigga, own My gang was like a hundred strong. <laughs> and they was ready to go. That motherfucker had some psycho. Motherfucking adolescent children. <laughs> way to go from, like any from, 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 11, yeah. from 11 to 14, he had motherfucking, and he was the kingpin. He was the motherfucking boss. That's Please. why he's crazy right Please. now. He Please. was the motherfucking boss. And all them motherfuckers came up. They respected us, but this motherfucker was the king. Nigga, they going. Yes, sir. What? I motherfucker. Hey, all of them. I hey. the little villains. I bullshit you not. He did that shit. LVB, little he did that shit all by his motherfucking self. He did that shit all yeah. by his motherfucking self. They didn't want me to be a fifth villain. Okay, I'll be a little villain. That's exactly what he said. He said, fuck it. Nigga, I got my own shit. Yeah. That's just what he said. And I looked at him and I said, bruh. I'm sure I always been chill with you, though. <laughs> Yeah. If I can't no. be here, I'm And it was going down. It was about a, it was, it was good, about 60 white boys. A couple oh, masculine and the rest was niggas, but the, the white boys was the ones that was yeah, going to get you. They moving like they got something to prove, huh? Yeah, they got something to prove. They were what? The white boys didn't even know the white boys was going to get you. The white boys was rebelling. Fuck that. We're in the neighborhood. Project is. And the crazy white boys was really. Oh, yeah. Hey, man, what's going on, man? How can we be here? problem? Fuck that. Dude, we're with you. We're with you. Hey, white boys had had the guns in the back of their truck. Yeah, so they was rocking with Fish Street? They was rocking with Fish Street? Back in the day, no, they was riding with the little villains. Oh, little villains? Sir, this is where the rap come from way back in the day. Uh, I'm picking it up though, traveling. keeping the fire alive. I love it. Nate's a vet on MTV and all sorts of shit. You grew up out here in Mesa too? Born and raised. I'm five decades in, man. Okay, you was rapping out here? Yes, sir. What was it like getting all that started, like originally? Man, it was cool. You know what I'm saying? We tell our story, talk about where we were from. 
uh, got to do a tour like Cali, Hollywood, Texas. At our um, music in every store. That one thing. It was cool. Yeah, so Mesa music ain't really nothing new. It's kind of. Uh, Mesa being here, you know what I'm saying? Like, Arizona don't get no love. So, all the niggas that's been spitting fire for years here, you know, just don't get that light. I'm trying to come back to the other camera, man. We've been out here since three, because man told us three, but his fucking ass been out here until six, seven. Yeah. Yeah. And he got a music video book, okay. he got a little shooting shit. But I'm trying to see my other camera, man, come back. Okay. What you say ain't your name? What you say my name? Where's me at? We had a city live video. How about 3 o'clock? I had to beat up 10 smokers. Five pieces of Axe and Beetle. That's right. 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 Right.